Let us now learn a very powerful possibility in any programming language and that's called the if condition. So it is a very simple statement but I'm not a big fan of explaining the syntax of what is what in a programming language. Instead, let us see a nice example from which it becomes obvious as to what we are trying to explain. All right. So here is an example. Let us consider the movie Avengers. All right. This is a 13 plus movie, which means only people who are 13 and above can watch it. Okay. The rating of the movie, it's called PG-13. It stands for parental guidance and one should be 13 plus years old. All right. So uh, let us write a small piece of code which checks this. All right. Th just to make it fun, I am um, trying to use this example. Although this doesn't uh, um, appear like something that we'll be doing in real life, why would you use a Python piece of code to check if someone's 13 plus or not? This is just to add some fun to the example. All right, so what are we trying to do? It will be obvious in a while. I will say print, please enter your date of birth. As in always, we'll take birth year is equal to input. All right, we have discussed this. In fact, you can combine these two things onto a single line of code, but I prefer writing it like this. All right, so uh, it's easy on my mind. Okay, so you will enter the your date of birth and then I'll say current year. What's the current year? It's 2021. I'm not so sure in which year you're watching my video, but this video was recorded in 2021. So I'll put current year as 2021. And then in fact, there is also ways in which you can actually put the current year as of that day. All right, when the program is executed, but like that's a little um, I mean, so off route. So we'll not take that. Uh, road as of now let us go ahead and say age is equal to the obvious current year minus the birth year right and then observe if age is less than 13 then see as i press enter the cursor comes a little away from the beginning you see that's called a tab character you leave a tab like that okay so uh, my editor does it automatically in fact you should do it manually in case you are not using a, a nice environment like this i'm using spider here uh, uh, in which i'm typing a python code if you're using a simple editor you may have to type that tab manually so details aside what should we type here i will say print you are underage you cannot watch this movie as i say the more restrictions we put more curious the kid becomes to watch the movie <laughs> jokes aside and then i'll say else print you are old enough to watch avengers enjoy all right perfect so what exactly happens here i'm executing it and it says enter your date of birth assume i am 2010 born which i am not by the way <laughs> at 2010 born it says it calculates it computes that your age is indeed uh, less than 13 because it's 2010 2020 minus 2010 age happens to be 11 here and 11 is less than 13 and it comes inside and says hey you are under age you cannot watch this movie all right which which is precisely what it does here right Okay, let me re-execute this and try to see if I type my age greater than 13, will it let me watch the movie? Okay, so let me say, let me execute this, enter your date of birth, I'll say 2000 is my date of birth. That makes me 21 years old. It says, you are old enough to watch Avengers, enjoy. So you clearly understand what exactly happened. In fact, there is no much of, uh, um, could, I mean, there's no details here per se, right? I clearly say it's very sort of English-like a statement. I say, if age is less than 13, then do this. Else, else means what? If age is not less than 13, 
then whatever is inside this else you will do this right and then please note as you come out of this and then say print have a nice time and execute this and your date of birth I say 1990 it says you're old enough to watch Avengers enjoy have a nice time okay if I again execute this and I say 2012 I become a nine-year-old kid it says you are under age you cannot watch this movie it again says have a nice time have a nice time is said here too which means irrespective of whether this line gets executed or this line gets executed this part is definitely getting executed right so if something is true then do this else means if that's not true then do this in fact what you can do is you can test and see what if you type another line here print wait until you are old enough to watch this movie you can state this you're old enough to watch avengers enjoy don't forget to watch the sequels and prequels okay so what, what does this do this will obviously let me take this to the next line just so that it looks nice so this will execute both these statements if the age is less than 13 else it will execute both these statements okay uh, that's my guess let's see what it does so enter your date of birth let me reset this Executing it. So let me reset it once again. I'm executing this. It says, please enter your date of birth. When I say 2015, it says, you're underage, you cannot watch this movie. Wait until you're old enough to watch this movie. I am a little crazy about punctuation, so let me be <laughs> perfect here. So if I say, if I say my date of birth is 1960, it says you are old enough to watch Avengers, enjoy, don't forget to watch the sequels and prequels, have a nice time. Good. So do you see what's happening? This have a nice time is coming in both the places, that's because it's outside the if loop. But then this gets executed only if your age is less than 13 and this gets executed only if your age is not less than 13 which means your age is 13 and above at least 13 or you are 14 15 16 and, and more right anyways this is best not explained uh, in detail in fact you will get to know more of it as we progress we'll be using as i said if statement is used in almost every piece of code that I have known. Okay, 99% of the code that you write will will somewhere use the if condition. All right. So with practice, you can achieve perfection of how this if statement works. All right. So with this, let's end this lecture and let me also try to tell you that you can in fact write if statement within another if statement. Okay. All those details will be covered in the forthcoming lectures. Thank you.